Hey there, everyone. Welcome back. We need to take a few minutes to discuss some big news from Applied Materials. They recently announced some new equipment that, if you believe some in the news media and some analysis that's made its rounds out there, some think that this is a threat to ASML holding. Now, if you've been here on the channel with me before, you know that chip manufacturing equipment stocks are far and away my biggest bet on coming chip manufacturing boom. And these are by far the two biggest players in this space and my favorite stocks, biggest portion of my portfolio dedicated to chip manufacturing. Let's talk about this news and why I think the media has this so wrong. Some analysts, I think, have this wrong. And I hope I can give you an edge over some of the reports circulating out there. Let's talk about it. Before continuing, let me remind you to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if this video is helpful as you do your own investment research and increase your knowledge of business and technology. We really appreciate the support as subscribing to the channel helps us continue putting out content like this. Let's take a look at our handy dandy semiconductor industry flowchart. You're probably getting familiar with this at this point, but let's recap what it is anyways. It shows the flow of chips and therefore money moving through the semiconductor industry and eventually the computing technology and software industry, but it all starts with chips uh, and specifically chip fab, wafer fab equipment, the companies that make the machines that actually manufacture semiconductors sits at this very critical choke point here, roughly in the middle of our flow chart here, wafer fab equipment. Again, wafers being those big silicon disks. You see people in a lab holding those disks eventually get chopped up into dyes, into, into individual chips that get packaged up into our computers. So wafer fab equipment, there's actually some sub segments to this particular niche of the industry that we're gonna zoom in on here for a moment. So before we get to applied materials specific new machine announcement, um, I'm gonna borrow a slide from their accompanying presentation that actually we, <laughs> we were working on something similar. We're still working on it. Uh, we're going to flesh out uh, a similar looking slide and show that off here within the next couple of weeks. But what this is, is it shows a specific breakdown of the semiconductor fabrication equipment market. And so what you're seeing here on the left is uh, lithography. So that is ASML in purple, the company that has a monopoly, total complete monopoly on extreme ultraviolet lithography. And uh, that's going to be where we're going to spend most of our time here discussing lithography here. But some of these other steps, uh, track and clean uh, in yellow, that segment, mostly dominated by Tokyo Electron. Uh, then you see LAM research in green. Over on the far right, KLA core, which we've talked about in other videos here uh, that do some process and quality control and tracking type of equipment. KLA has a, a huge stranglehold on that part of the market, but throughout most of the processes here, you see in blue, that's applied materials. Applied materials has the broadest portfolio of, of chip fab equipment. So just remember, this is an incredibly complex process manufacturing a chip. It goes through many dozens of, of stages, especially advanced chips go through many dozens of stages before they get packaged up into a computer. And Applied Materials has a dominant role in multiple parts of those stages that a chip goes through before it goes to market. I'm going to show you a few more slides from their presentation here before I refer you to Applied Materials actual video, which is uh, fantastic. I think it's a much a must watch. Uh, but a couple of interesting slides here uh, that 
illustrate what EUV lithography does. So, so we're talking here like a microscopic scale, EUV extreme ultraviolet light uh, used to create these small lines, cuts, and vias uh, on a silicone wafer. And oftentimes in the most advanced chips, uh, a wafer will get double patterned. Basically the EUV machine from ASML will get used twice to create uh, these very this very complex network of lines and trenches and vias that eventually get filled in with metal that that bring power through the multiple layers of a silicone chip. Now there can be some issues though with EUV double patterning. Basically when extra passes are, are made with the EUV light, uh, sometimes these patterns don't exactly match up. Again, remember we're talking uh, at the microscopic scale here. And so just nanometers off and uh, these vias may not line up properly. Uh, it can make portions of a chip not operate properly. So ultimately the final product may not be as powerful uh, as, as, as it's designed, or it could actually create complete total loss. And perhaps if it's, if, if it's too inaccurate, the entire wafer gets trashed because of this. Not only that, this, this double, double EUV uh, pass is actually a very complicated process. It introduces extra operational cost for a chip fab operator. So Applied Materials has this illustration here that shows the extra work involved uh, with doing this EUV double patterning. But this new machine that they've introduced, it can reduce the EUV patterning process down to just one step. And then the next step following that is now being referred to as pattern shaping. So here is what that new machine that Applied Materials just introduced looks like. It's called the Centura Sculpta Patterning System. Now, at this point, I am going to re refer you to Applied Materials YouTube link. It's about a two minute long video. I highly recommend you watch it. It explains how pattern shaping works. But basically, in short, how it works is a chip fab can use ASML's EUV machine uh, to lay down one, one set of patterns. And then this pattern shaping technology, which uses uh, plasma, the Centura Sculpta basically does the second pass and can enlarge that initial pattern that was laid down with the ASML EUV machine. This is a tremendous breakthrough for applied materials. And many people worry that, well, gee, uh, reducing the complexity of EUV lithography, great news for applied materials, bad news for ASML. I really, really don't think so. In fact, I think exactly the opposite. So as we've explained here in videos in the past, ASML and Applied Materials have actually been collaborators for many years. In fact, uh, Applied Materials makes uh, the reticles that basically the patterns that the EUV light from ASML's machine uh, shines through to create the pattern on the silicone wafers. ASML plus Applied Materials creating a, a whole total EUV system is nothing new. And so I view this as sort of an extension of that. Now, in addition to that, Applied Materials said that it has actually been working on the Centura Sculpta machine for six years. Some of its mutual customers with ASML have been testing it out to help with its development. So ASML, I, I, I would be shocked to hear if ASML said they had no idea this thing was being developed. I'm gonna come back to that here in just a moment, but basically explain why some investors are worried suddenly worried about ASML, why this is great news for applied materials, but why really this is a win, win, win for ASML applied materials and for the whole semiconductor manufacturing segment 
of the industry. Now I'm going to direct your attention here to this particular section of Applied Materials press release regarding the Centura Sculpta machine. Uh, see the bullet points here on this press release. They talk about the cost savings involved for joint customers that are using EUV lithography. So basically think Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing, Samsung, soon Intel, um, and a couple of others. Capital cost savings of approximately $250 million per 100,000 wafer starts. Remember in 2022, we did a little simple math to figure out that the average cost for an ASML extreme ultraviolet lithography machine was nearly $200 million per machine. So by reducing the number of pattern passes that need to be made per wafer, basically companies can spend less money on those actual pieces of equipment. In addition to that, because the operation of actually creating an EUV wafer is now simplified, Manufacturing cost savings of approximately 50 bucks per wafer, uh, energy savings, uh, greenhouse gas emission reduction, less water consumption, uh, you name it. The Centura Sculpta from Applied Materials will help drive down the cost of manufacturing for companies that are utilizing EUV lithography from ASML. Now, as to why I think Applied Materials new machine, new complementary machine is a value add to the EUV lithography market, uh, not a reason to be worried about ASML. Let's rewind back to ASML's 2022 Investor Day. Just, just about four or five months ago in November 2022, the company provided a massive update to their long-term growth outlook. Remember, the company has done about $22 billion in sales over the last year. They're expecting that to go to at least 30 billion, if not 40 billion at the high end in annual sales by 2025 and 44 billion at the low end to 60 billion in sales by 2030. Uh, so as much as a triple in revenue over the next eight years or so. And remember this was just five months ago, ASML provided this, this update, they knew about Applied Materials Sculpta machine, the complementary new device that reduces the usage of an EUV lithography machine from ASML. What I think is happening here is, remember the chip industry is deeply collaborative. Uh, most, most companies share their product roadmap with each other uh, years in advance so that they can kind of grease the gears of innovation, keep things moving forward. And so that there's no duplicative efforts going on because developing this stuff is massively complex. It's expensive and it just doesn't make a lot of econom economic sense to compete with each other. So they share each other's product roadmaps with each other uh, to help keep the industry moving forward, to keep it innovating and to help it keep getting more efficient. Suffice to say, ASML knew about applied materials plans, and I think part of their outlook implied that there was going to be huge new adoption of EUV lithography equipment in the coming years. And they knew that one of the driving forces of that could be applied materials new machine. So perhaps ASML's equipment doesn't get used for double patterning as much as it did in the past, but that's okay. A lot of chip makers that maybe have been holding off on investing in these incredibly expensive, incredibly complex pieces of equipment to operate from ASML, uh, maybe with the introduction of applied materials, new machine that might tip them over the, over the edge, it now makes economic sense for them to start incorporating EUV lithography into their operations. So greater adoption of EUV lith lithography as a result helps ASML. Applied Materials gets a new market segment to dominate in chip manufacturing, new revenue stream for Applied Materials, and the overall semiconductor manufacturing industry uh, kind of further goes down this path of 
pushing the boundaries of what's possible for manufacturing uh, because suddenly the most advanced chip making EUV has suddenly got a whole lot more efficient. Now, I think this is really interesting. Since Applied Materials made this announcement, you can see a, a slight jump in stock price for the company, uh, but a slight continuation of, of a sell-off in ASML stock price. Now, granted, uh, both stocks up a lot since the October 2022 lows, but it's interesting here to see the market's reaction. Suffice to say, I think the market has at best overlooked this news. So as of this recording, Applied Materials trading for about 16 times trailing 12 month earnings per share, uh, about 25, 26 times trailing 12, 12 month free cash flow. I think the free cash flow metric in particular improves throughout this year. Check our last video out on Applied Materials for details on that. The company expecting to greatly outperform its peers in the chip fab equipment space. ASML in a similar boat also poised to greatly outperform its peers in the chip fab equipment space as well, because those EUV uh, lithography machines were still not getting sold much a year ago uh, due to supply chain issues and, and, and such. Again, check out the last video on ASML as to what's going on. The stock, not as cheap as applied materials. Uh, as of this recording, uh, about 42 times trailing 12 month earnings, 33 times trailing 12 month free cash flow. However, both of those metrics uh, going to improve going forward this year. And both companies overall, I think, are a very fair value if you think chip manufacturing is going to boom over the next three to five years and really over the next decade with the introduction of legislature like the U.S. Chips Act and the massive amount of funding that's going to go towards manufacturing semiconductors, I still believe the lion's share of profits is going to flow to companies like Applied Materials and ASML Holding that sit at that very critical juncture in the semiconductor flow chart I showed you earlier. These companies operate in basically an oligopoly in particular segments of the chip fab equipment space. They are even almost monopolistic. ASML definitely a monopoly specifically in EUV lithography. Uh, I, I think the Applied Materials, Centura Sculpta Machine is a huge news that is at best misunderstood, possibly even being overlooked. I think it's a great thing for both Applied Materials and ASML. These are still my top two favorite stocks in the chip fab equipment space and possibly just my favorite chip stocks, period, for the next three to five years. Per usual, hit me up with questions in the comments below. I'd like to hear from you. Stay tuned. We've got some big news coming. Uh, we're actually coming up on the six month anniversary of the Chip Stock Investor channel here in the next couple of weeks. We're prepping some new stuff for that. Also more industry news and company analysis coming your way. Hope you all have a great weekend. See you again real soon.